Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Death of Sir David Davis has shocked people across the political spectrum. It has. Um, you were at a regional visit with your cabinet in Bristol. When did you hear the news and how did you react? Well, I think all our hearts are full of shock and sadness today at to the loss of Sir David Amos MP, who was killed in his constituency surgery uh, in a church after almost 40 years of continuous service to the people of Essex and the whole of the United Kingdom. And the reason I think people are so shocked and saddened is, above all, he was one of the kindest, nicest, most gentle people in politics. And he also had an outstanding record of passing laws to help the most vulnerable, whether the people who are suffering from endometriosis, uh, passing laws to uh, end cruelty to animals, or doing a huge amount to reduce uh, the fuel poverty suffered by people uh, up, and, up and down the country. David was a man who believed passionately in this country and in its future. And we've, we've lost today a fine public servant and a much-loved friend and colleague. And our thoughts are very much today with uh, his wife, uh, his children and, and his family. And what was the sense of shock when you and your cabinet colleagues uh, heard about this? This is not news, of course, that anyone's going to be expecting to hear on a Friday at a constituency surgery. And somebody who, of course, has been, as you say, a Conservative MP for a very long time, nearly 40 years. Um, what was your, the reaction of you and your colleagues when that news filtered through? I think everybody was uh, deeply shocked and, and heart-stricken. And our thoughts, as I say, are, are very much with his, with his family, uh, with his wife, with, with his children. And for the rest, I mean, we must really leave the, the police to get on with their, their investigation. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Also, uh, the Speaker of the House of Commons has said today, of course, he's shocked, saddened, distressed too. But he says this also raises the issue of MPs' safety. Now, we've had two MPs from the two main parties of Westminster killed in the space of five years. This is a problem, isn't it? An urgent problem that needs to be debated to protect our democracy. I think what we need to do now is let the police get on with uh, their investigation and uh, I'm sure that all those issues will be considered in, in, in the, the proper time. But this is a, I think this is a moment for us to, to think of, of Sir David, uh, his wife, his family, and, and our thoughts are very much with them. Thank you very much. Thank you.